Hello Sagittarius, my name is Agatha and this is the tarot forecast for the year 2017. This is a very general forecast. If you'd like a private consultation, please send an email to duniazada.gmail.com and I'd be delighted to work with you. I'm going to use the pictorial key tarot and I'm going to do a forecast for the four quarters of 2017 with two cards for each quarter and I'm going to ask you also to pick one symbol so uh, that way just one of the four that I'm going to show you because that will allow me to give you uh, a reading a little bit more personalized so the, the symbols are garden stars heart and ring. So pick one. I'm going to shuffle, 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 so I don't see which symbol falls into each quarter. So one, two, three, and four. And let's start, um, Sagittarius. If you picked ring, the first quarter, the months of January, February, and March are a little bit more relevant for you. The cards that came out were, were the Four of Cups and the Knight of uh, Pentacles. So, there's some sort of offering which is presented to you. And maybe at first you don't want to take it because you kind of feel there's something better than that. But eventually you'll take this offering. And it's something connected with money. It's something connected connected with the job, with your career, your, your profession, Sagittarius, something like that. But it doesn't pay all that much, you know. And that's why you didn't want to take it. Because uh, it doesn't pay all that much. And maybe, like, take your time and you think about it. And finally you decide to, okay, you take it. Um, and whatever it is, you it doesn't pay all that much. And you maybe have to pay attention to detail. Or maybe you have to deal with someone who, who is very uh, orderly and a bit orthodox and a bit, you know, a bit boring and just follow, follows the rules and and just insists upon every single tiny little rule and everything gets slowed down because this person really insists on uh, everything being revised like God knows how many times. Uh, so it's like a slow January, February, March. It's like a slow beginning to the year. It's how you feel. It's everything is slow. Things don't develop. Things things seem to be stuck, Sagittarius. That's your general feeling. And the money that you earn isn't isn't anything to write home about it. It's not all that much. Uh, and you feel stuck in it. That's that's. There's very little advancement. It's very small. Um, moving on, if you picked the uh, symbol heart, then uh, the months of April, May, and June are a little bit more relevant for you. And the cards that came out were the Ace of uh, Pentacles or Coins and the Eight of One. I'm sorry, Eight of uh, cups it's like money that comes in that allows you to completely change your mind uh, mind completely change your life this money that comes in this sudden windfall that comes in allows you to move away from the past move away move away from uh, a part of your life that no longer serves you move away move away from yeah a large part of your life you just Finally, you can move. It could be that. Imagine that you have, like, I don't know, you live with people that you don't want to live with. Either be family or roommates or whomever. So this windfall allows you to change your life. Allows you to leave the past behind. It's, yeah, it's it's money that allows you to change your life. Or if you, let's say, let's say that you have spiritual inclinations during this year, 2017. Sagittarius. This money will allow you to do some sort of pilgrimage if that's what you want to do. If you always wanted to do something like El Camino de Santiago, in Portuguese, o Caminho de Santiago, the route to Santiago, the Compostela of Compostela, 
This is the money that will allow you to do. It doesn't need to be much. This is the money that will allow you to, to go on a trip that will serve to heal you emotionally and spiritually. This is the money that will allow you to have a new life. Uh, this could even be like planting a seed. Planting a seed, leaving it be, and knowing it will be fruitful. But I'm thinking more like a, a windfall and even an offering of someone. And then moving on. If you pick the symbol, Sagittarius, garden, then the, the months of July, August and September will be a bit more relevant for you. And these are great cards. The cards that came out were the Three of Wands and the Star card, the Major Arcana card. So finally, your ships are coming in and you are fulfilling a long-held desire, a long-held dream. You're fulfilling a vision. You're fulfilling a dream. You had a vision. You had a dream. Uh, you you had an idea about how, uh, you, what your life was meant to be or supposed to be, and finally, you know, there, this is success that's coming in, and this is success where your your a desire, a wish, is fulfilled. This is a vision which is finally fulfilled, finally accomplished. This is success. This is very big success in July, August, and September, and the third quarter of the year, Sagittarius. So this could even be a trip, you know, abroad. This could even be, if your dream is to, to, to go on a trip, on a, uh, there, there are several cards, cards here that indicate me some sort of traveling, uh, traveling during 2017. In the beginning of the year, you have the Knight of, um, of Pentacles. It's, it's slow traveling, but it's traveling. And then in the second quarter of the year, you have the Eight of uh, um, Cups, which could also be leaving physically a place and going to somewhere else. And then uh, the Star card is connected with Aquarius and with Abroad. And these are the ships. You might be traveling. In July, August, and September, you might be traveling. And this, in this trip... Might be a cruise trip because of the boats. Might be like a long-held dream because maybe you always wanted to to be on a cruise trip, on a cruise voyage. I I know that I always wanted to to be on in one, even seven days or eight days in I don't know Caribbean, whatever, something like that. Maybe that's the wish. Maybe that's the dream that you had have, and finally you you get to fulfill it. Or it doesn't mean to have like a could he, I just thought of something. Trip around the world by boat. Trip around the world by boat. Something like that. It's a trap. A a a, a, tra a, a travel abroad. That's a dream to you. Maybe could be that also. Finally, the fourth quarter of the year. If you chose the symbol stars, then uh, October, November, and December. It's a, a little bit more relevant. For you, these months are more relevant for you. The cards that came out were two major arcana cards, the temperance card and the hangman. It's it's like this. If you're drinking too much, Sagittarius, uh, this is the last three months. It's like your angels are coming in and telling you, you should really don't drink all that much. I, mean, I just thought of that. But it's like your angels got your back. And it's it's a few months where there will, there will be moderation, um, and and you have to be patient. Also, you, there's a need to be patient, and the hangman also speaks of a pause of things not advancing, uh, like a period where you need to pause and maybe take a different perspective upon something. It's like things are not moving. I would say or things are little more slow, also in October, November, and December. This is different from April, May, and June, and July, August, and September. It's different. It's like things are slowing down, uh, but it's like it's allowing you to think in a different way and to think in a more spiritual way. 
these are very spiritual spiritual cards it's like at the end of the year you kind of feel this need in this pull this pull towards a bit more defined spirituality uh, a bit more defined it's not going to the temple or to the church or to the mosque or it's not defined that's not what i'm talking about within yourself within your spirit you feel the need to define what is let's call it a spiritual truth truth or to 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 explore spirituality in a very in a deeper way in a deeper level also this is a, a message of your angels got your back whatever happens if you're ill if you're sick it could be that maybe this is like the uh, the excuse your soul needs in order to explore yourself more spirit in spiritual in spiritual terms you're sick you cannot move but not i mean you're not paralyzed or anything like that but you kind of you like you have to be in bed or something like that for a period of time and you you use that time to you know think about yourself in a more spiritual way uh, if you will ill or if you will be ill in october november december sagittarius your angels are telling you your guardian angels are telling you everything is fine don't worry we've got your back that's the message from your angels to you but i'm thinking this is more a spiritual time spiritual growth type of thing it's like you get money, your dreams are fulfilled, and then at the end of the year, it's like you're asking yourself, now what? And then what? Now, like, what else is there? So I would say this is a positive reading, okay, Sagittarius, and that's it. This is the reading that I have for you in 2017. This is a very general reading. If you like a private consultation, please send an email to duniazada.gmail.com, and I'd be delighted to work with you. Bye-bye.